<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Are you ready for the longest cave in the world? Because it is the very long cave. And the reason why it's long is because it's all auto scroll basically. There's a couple of spots where it's not auto scroll, but it's very far and few because right after it will start up the auto scroll again. And there's a really, really nasty spot if you want to 100% this level that you're going to have to ride a chomp rock across lava while it's moving at a relatively high speed. So if you haven't gotten the hang of your chomp rock rolling skills, you might want to do some practice. <laughs> <laughs> like on some other safer level, because it takes you probably a good four minutes to even get to the spot where said Chomp Rock is, and you do not want to fail said Chomp Rock Delio, because that's a lot of time burned for basically nothing. By the way, see that that right there? I can get at the red coin there ahead of time, but that, that path is effectively blocked off by the screen on this particular one, but this cave actually loops around through that path, and yes, there are red coin shy guys here too. I believe there is a chomp rock coming. Oh, I can't, I can't resist it. <laughs> You're just twitching all over the place. <laughs> Not only that, yeah, that rock is supposed to go all the way down there and act like a secondary platform of sorts in case you fall off, I guess. But it's just there to be there. Otherwise, it's not really super special or anything like that. Hmm, Pyro Guy also inhabits this cave, having a good time trying to ignite Yoshi, even though he's, he doesn't seem really seem that dangerous and all. You just lick him up, you're good to go. I think this is a Shy Guy pipe. Uh, but right now, since I'm full of eggs, I'm not really gonna get anything out of it. I think I wanna go this way. Um, yes. <laughs> that will do. Oh, and then I wanna go this way. Oh, no, no, I can't go that way. Shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, auto scrolls are my nemesis. Ooh, wow, that was... That was like total multitasking mastery there. <laughs> okay. Now... I'm gonna be looping around to that area that I said that there was that, you know, that red coin that I collected that we couldn't get that whole line of coins from before. This is it, right here, so don't take the upper area. This time we can actually go through and get the rest of the... Yep, 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 yep. But instead of going down, we are going over to the right. Yeah, it's just... It, 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 the auto-scroll doesn't really make much sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's just there to mess with you. Knock down the icicles here as it'll make things a whole lot easier to un escape their unscathed. Uh, if you have an egg, otherwise, best of luck hovering underneath them. Just know your hover jump angle and you should be good. And this is the part with the chomp rock. Get ready. Because here we go! I hate that part! <laughs> and as you see... There's no midpoint between there and all the stuff that we already did. So, yeah, you gotta not only land on that chomp rock rather precisely, <laughs> because you gotta land sort of like on the left side of it so you aren't automatically thrown off of it like I was, but you've also gotta roll with said chomp rock. Yeah, um, that is not nice. <laughs> It's, it's not impossible, and it is fair if you know your Chomp Rock moves, because you've been, you've been using Chomp Rocks through the whole game, but when it's rolling at such a speed, it's so, so difficult that it's, yeah, it's dicey. And I don't know if you could tell in the footage, but that arrow was skipping between up and right on the arrow, I mean, on the bubble. <laughs> And it, it was just kind of like, a, because it was at the edge of the screen, it, or not the edge of the screen, it was like the edge of Yoshi's threshold, so to speak. And yeah, I'm just ignoring that coin this time, because it's not really, not really that big of a deal, because I know I'm going to be coming through there anyway. It's just that before I did my explanation of stuff and stuff, so yeah. I know that's always a safe red coin to lick up, because there's always a platform directly under it. Chomp Rock and have a good time rolling on ahead this time. And I'm just gonna wait out here until I get said fly guy to appear with its coin. There we go. Alrighty. 
And, yeah, this first part is not that hard at all. It's just that you've got to redo a whole lot if you mess up on that one chomp section. You know, the chomp rock section that I was rolling on? It's just so dicey to pull off. But it is doable. Like... <laughs> It's not impossible. You know how to you know how to roll on chomp rocks. It's just a matter of getting that feel just right to move at just the right speed by you know doing those little tapper tapper holds in a way to get through that and whatnot. So just just work at it. You'll eventually get it. And then the rest of the level isn't nearly as bad. Whoops. <laughs> lick lick. And there wasn't a red coin at that corner though. No. Nope. I don't know why there wasn't a red coin there. It just seems like a perfect place for a red coin. Is right in that corner where the shy guy was. Well, the, uh, you know, the ghost shy guy. Because it was... It just, you know, it's all blocked in there. And it's tricky to get with the auto-scroll. So it just seemed like the perfect spot to put a red coin. But they did not put a red coin there. <laughs> so I think if I keep failing that... I mean, if I fail the chomp rock section this next attempt here... I am just gonna cut over to my next attempt after that and etc until I actually get it. Because as you can tell, I don't have any trouble with this particular cave section whatsoever. It's just a matter of just, yeah, playing it smart and whatnot. And I've played it so many times I've got the lava sections pretty much all memorized too, so not really a super amount of danger in that regard. But alright, here we go. We're gonna roll and we're gonna do it like a pro. Woo! point after that <laughs> and yes that is not optional so I didn't have to cut whatsoever I might still have to cut though just just bear with me we'll see but yeah brief, make sure that you're filled up on eggs for this because we've got some wall digging sections going on here and uh, also make sure that they're pretty cleaned out for your jumps at certain sections so that you don't bonk your head into the dirt and then end up falling into a bottomless pit. You'll see what I mean when we get there, I assure you. Uh, oh, that, that was like two eggs or three, three eggs overlapping there because I just lost two eggs when I was at five. <laughs> That's awfully generous with the eggers. Uh, I'll just clear this out here. Uh, yeah, just make it all nice and <laughs> clean to see how, how much I can get out of that and whatnot. There's also a post pounding area, which is really dicey. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Oh shoot, that's why I want to clear it out more. <laughs> There's a secret thing inside that dirt, which I just opened up. It's just the one up. Uh, here comes the post section, I think. Uh, maybe not. I will grab that watermelon, though. <laughs> Go, 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 Always look ahead in this area, because it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pressuring you to make sure that you get your stuff ASAP. Um, oh, we're good, <laughs> I guess. Please give me another midpoint, that would be lovely. So yeah, I guess that isn't the spot where there is the uh, post that you have to pound down. And it, when you have to pound these posts, and you only have to do it once per post to get the red coins out of them, the, the screen actually speeds up in the auto-scroll, so it's even more demonic than that ch uh, chomp rock in some aspects, because if you ever so slightly miss the post, you're not going to have enough time to get all of them in the run. Oh, and these goonies are pretty funny, you know, these uh, flightless skeleton goonies. Just let them go, you don't have to eat any of them or anything like that, just, just let them go, have, yeah, let them have a good time there. Let's see what happens to them if they keep going on their path. <laughs> they're just having fun in their flock and- Oh no, they're dead! They're all dead! <laughs> oh jeez, no, 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 I can't- I can't afford any- Oh! Any issues here? I hope there wasn't a red coin that I missed there. We're gonna see though, I betcha! <laughs> uh, I think- Oh, here's the post pounding spot. And- Oh god, oh god. Three- Four, see how it sped up there? Oh yeah! <laughs> that was fantastic. That's probably the best that that level has ever gone for me in the history of me playing this level. <laughs> I will accept that though, because that was a level you do not want to play a lot of times in a row. <laughs> that auto scroll just really eats at your patience, because it's not that hard, just 
It's just there. It's a certain couple spots that just mess with you. That pole spot, the uh, dirt spot where you gotta dig through and not fall into bottomless pits, and of course the chop rock spot, which is surprisingly the only spot that I had trouble with. <laughs> so with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part so we do 6-6! Six <laughs>